now we are good with the producer we are able to send the message from the java project to the producer now let's consume the message from the topic using the java api itself so our project is same uh, i am going to create a event consumer class here uh, i'll create a method receive event uh, i'm receiving the message so i don't need to ma uh, uh, mention anything here so first is going to be the same that configuration uh, uh, let's write down the step first one is going to be the config second is going to be the consumer client third is going when consumer client is set uh, you have to subscribe to the topics you can subscribe to more than one topic so it takes array list when you have subscribed you are ready to receive the message now you have to poll for the message when you have poll for the message now message in your uh, op, in, is in your uh, project this java project now you can go ahead and process whatever you want to do with that message process the message and that's where it, this story ends so this poll for message and process the message i need to continuously receive the messages uh, so I have to go to the infinite loop. So these two pieces of code I need to do in the infinite loop. So this is the three, this is the four, and this is the five. So let's do one by one. So first one is going to be the properties. dot put consumer config dot bootstrap same thing we need the kappa cluster address right 9092 dot put again consumer config dot key here i need dc realizer string dc realizer dot class and the same thing I need here value DC realizer it is going to be the same string DC realizer now the next step to create the consumer client Kafka consumer key is going to be the string value is going to be the string and it is going to take the properties here. so now our consumer is ready so i need to uh, so this consumer has now this bootstrap server configuration and these serializer and deserializer now the third step is i i need to subscribe to this topic uh, certain topic whatever are available there right so consumer dot subscribe method is there so arrays dot as list are topic with the cluster is my first topic there are more as well but uh, we are sending the events to this one only okay uh, so now we are good uh, we have subscribed uh, now we need to pull the message for the messages consumer dot poll duration of millis let's say 100 millisecond i want uh, this duration between the poles so if you see it will give you uh, it will give you the records there and this record you can now you have this one now you can process you got the records right now you can process this one so i can go in the for loop consumer record string string record from records okay so now what i need to do uh, for this one i just simply need to print the things so record dot get key and record dot value 
so it is simply going to give me the uh, message that is being sent what is the key of that message and what is the actual message what is the actual value there are other more information that i can get out of this one consumer record but for now let's uh, stick to this one the most simplistic one so that we can see this in running so i already i also have told you that this records uh, polling i am going to do that continuously so i have to put this in the uh, infinite loop thing so i'll just uh, or based on the condition uh, depends on how long do you want to consume it uh, this thing you have to do that yeah just format it a bit now we are good so our consumer is there Deserializes are there. My first topic is there, and this is there. Okay, so uh, there is one more configuration. Uh, uh, when we were interacting with this CLI, what was happening when we created the consumer? So by default, it was accepting the latest messages only. The moment it connected, after that, whatever messages are produced, it was going to listen that. So let's see what happens in this case. So I just need to trigger this one. So receive event, I can call it from the test method also, but for the consumer one, let's do it from the main method. So create a main method, make it static so that we can call it directly. Receive event. Uh, so I'll just have to run it and everything will be printed in the console. So before doing this one, I need to put some identifier here so that I can see uh s out receiving messages so now run it because the console in console there is going to be more logs printed so it is giving me some error so let's see what is that uh, group my invalid group id okay uh, group management it is saying that uh, valid group id yeah one configuration i missed it so i need to mention the group id as well right so it is uh, asking me the same thing to do you must provide a valid group id okay all right so properties dot put consumer config dot group id So I can mention any ID that I need. Uh, so I can mention this as an ID and if I execute it, receiving messages, it is continuously running, but there is no message in this one, right? You can see that is, uh, that means it is going to accept the latest messages only. So let's produce some messages into this one. So I can produce this message from the test method. I can produce from uh, 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 CLI also. It doesn't make uh, any difference. So first let's produce from here. So I'll just uh, send run test this method. So it will send the message one, two, three into the same topic where it should listen that one. So it is continuously receiving the message because I'm in the for on in that while loop. So when this is uh, executed, I'll just search for this one. It had sent that message now. So let me look for that one. So just copy it. Yeah, you see, key is null, obviously, and from Super Java Project API, I'm able to listen this one. Now try this uh, from our CLI. So I want to produce the message into this one. So I need the producer. Uh, yeah. Yes. This is the first message I sent. I need to go there. Chapter one here. Search for Superman. I got this one, right? So we saw our consumer is working fine. So there is uh, there are configurations. So I just need to stop it. 
so that it uh, stop printing in the console here first so i can do other configuration uh, here or uh, the same way that i did here that uh, my first topic defined earliest or anything i can just play around this configuration here so but for now just focus on this simplest thing you able to produce the message able to consume the message right here okay i will be talking about more advanced configuration in the next video that we'll see how we can apply it okay so that was that so i'll see in the next video take care bye bye